Hey everybody, GL1 here. Welcome to my online toy museum. And I just got this in the mail the other day, and I'm really excited to open it. Uh, but before I get to that, I want to reference a couple of other things that make this a little more relevant. Um, now, the first thing is, this is going to be an armored Superman. And, uh, you know, Superman is so powerful and strong, why would he need armor? Well, if he's fighting someone else from Krypton, say General Zod, or someone, you know, uh, else is equal in capabilities, then he might need armor to protect himself from someone that powerful or more powerful. So hopefully he has access to armor that is more powerful than his skin. Well, uh, if we go and we look at a McFarlane armored Superman, we're going to see some similarities between this and this set. So what you have here is just a regular Superman, right? But you can see the added articulation in the chest right there, the chest joint. Um, so just, and, and so does the McFarlane character. And then it has these big wings, although Superman flies anyway, so he doesn't really need wings. But you can see that there's going to be boots and a similar chest armor, and he's going to have a shield. Well, there's also like a, some kind of battle axe here. Well, that might be a little similar to this Superman. Uh, so this is Henry Cavill Superman that was in uh, the Superman Man of Steel movie who was fighting uh, General Zod. And uh, so this weapon came with him. So again, you know, he's fighting someone from Krypton around a yellow sun, which is how Superman gets his powers, because a red sun would weaken him. Um, you know, a yellow sun gives him his strength, so he could use a weapon. And um, I just wanted to show you in reference to our package Superman here. This Superman, as well, came out a few years ago, so we could see it's the same 12-inch scale, but not angry-looking. I mean, take a look at the Superman... Uh, in our new package. Angry looking, wider jaw. You see you have a strong jaw on this Superman, but it's a narrower jaw and you see it's more, uh, it's got more of a sullen look and, uh, and angry also. Muscularity wise, uh, very similar, a little bit different bodies, but very similar. Um, and then we have the 12 inch Henry Cavill uh, action figure. Okay, so um, I don't know. The head doesn't really look like it goes with the body too well. Um, but it just, I don't know. Something just seems a little off. But I love the armor. I, I bought this because I just thought the, the armor was really cool. Um, and the texturing on the clothing. And, you know, you got the nice uh, cloth, muted red cape, you know, as opposed to the 1970s bright cape. You know, and this uh, looks a lot like um, Christopher Reeve, right? Maybe that's who they were trying to uh, reference here with this Superman. And what I like about the um, DC 12-inch heroes is they do have the full articulation, the knees, the elbows, the uh, hips, um, and shoulders, whereas you don't get uh, all that with the Marvel characters. Uh, you pay more and you get less. So, all right, well, here we go. We're going to open this guy up here. And see the best way to open this here, back here. And uh, this was only twenty dollars on Amazon, so I can tell you right now, it's I could just see it's well worth it. The figure alone is definitely an upgrade because of the joints. So, pop on this. All right, 
So here we go. Now here's the Superman. And good head articulation. I wish it had a joint here as well. But all right. Oh, we got we got some wrist articulation. That's good. See that? We got a wrist joint. Okay. Loosen that up a bit. And then look, you have the elbows, that multi-directional elbows. Let's see, do we have, we have multi-directional elbows here, but you don't have a wrist. Now you have a wrist that turns on this one. All right, so similar knees. Oh, but look, you have ankles. Don't have ankles on this one. So right there, isn't that great? And let's see, leg muscles are, it's uh, pretty much the same. Yeah, I would say it's the same mold on there. And nice uh, cape detail up in here. And all right, that's similar, but actually you can see that the way that they deal with it up here is different. And let's see, height-wise, oh, let's see, get his feet flat. Oh, he's bigger. So if you line up the feet, take a look at that. He's uh, half a head taller. So bigger figure, and next to the Cavill figure, let's see, he's a, almost a whole head taller than the Henry Cavill figure. So great, and... You have the bicep joint too. So really just a fantastic upgrade on this. Um, and you have the original Superman. You know, this really does look like the, the Superman symbol uh, going all the way back at least to the 70s. All right, well, let's see how this armor looks on him. Um, so, all right, it's a nice flexible armor. Right, so that's cool. Then let's All right, so let's put the belt on. So you can see that this oh that pegs in there. That's what those holes are for. Okay, good. That's good. So instead of having the belt pegged to itself, which doesn't, which does usually end up being a problem, this is good. It pegs into the figure. So that's good. Because usually it just undoes, you know, comes undone and everything all the time, especially if you're playing with it kind of rough. I don't think this, sometimes the armor pegs on, but it doesn't. It would be, if it pegged onto the chest, I guess, but then you'd have a hole in the chest. So it's probably just fine like this. All right, and then, all right, so we have these. So the shins. Ooh, a bit cracking noise there. Let's see. I don't know, maybe it goes on the other leg. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's just a slight difference. I guess in the molding so that you get it on the right shin, right? There we go, snap that in, all right. And then let's get his forearm. It's this way. This is really cool looking, isn't it? All right, and then shield. Some kind of like mace axe. All right. 
right, so we're going to put the helmet on last. All right, put a shield here. So I don't know whether Superman's left-handed or right-handed. You can play with him however you want. All right. So that, I don't know how his holding on to that might need to use some kind of plastic bungee or something. Maybe if we start over here. Okay, that's better. All right, so he's got that. And then... Okay, get that armor on there. Oh. And the helmet, and here we go. Armored, battle-ready Superman. All right, so there he is. And let's compare him to a Barbie. Okay, so I actually have a, uh, a Barbie that looks like me. So let's compare 12 inch tall. So yeah, that's it's the same scale. It's definitely the same scale as the Icon series Barbie dolls. Okay. So, pretty great. And uh, actually, you know what? Let's compare that again. Let's take a look at... This is McFarlane's Superman. And then this one. This was only $20, too, when it came out. I don't know what it is now. But I liked it a lot, so I bought another one and kept it in the box. I thought, you know, this is probably going to be worth something. So for 20 bucks, I was like, ah, I'll get another one. And uh, there you go. So, all right. Well, I'm really excited to have this on my shelf and uh, position this guy. All kinds of action. I mean, you know, really, because you can, now you can bend the feet and you can turn the, well, the torso, you know, you can, it doesn't stay in any particular position, but you can really manipulate the arms and the legs and go out like this and then, you know, kind of bend the leg and the foot, you know, have them kind of in a position. He could use a stand. Actually, that would be cool, you know. Um, I don't know, maybe for five more dollars. I know that's a lot, but if they made like a really good solid stand that, you know, could have, uh, I don't know, maybe they could have had a peg place on his back and then you could have, had him, you know, so he was like flying or in a battle position or something. Because you're going to have to, I don't know, kind of make a stand or custom stand for that. Or maybe you could hang fishing line and put them on a wall. You can, you know, put little um, finishing nails in the wall and use fishing line. And then hang them up on the wall like he's flying. That would be kind of cool. And it won't damage the wall too much. Little tiny pinholes that you can put some spackle on a joint compound later if you were to you know need to seal up those holes because you got in trouble for doing that but anyway uh thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed that um and uh if you like it you know i can't recommend enough if you like superman for 20 bucks what a great set um so all right thanks for watching talk to you soon take care